What is up everyone? My name is Cody Campbell and welcome back to another StarCraft 2 video. In the last video we managed to require, require um, some experimental weapons from for the Protoss and reunite with an old friend. So now we're gonna be heading off to the next planet. The Nerezim of Shakuras ritually sever their connection to the Kala. Because of this, they are now the last free Protoss. I must reach them before Amon's armies. of life is extensive. Hold. We are receiving a transmission. Praise the gods. Artemis, you live. Matriarch Vorazun, what has happened here? Shakuras has fallen. The warp gate linking this world to Ire has been reopened. Countless hybrid and Zerg pour from the other side. They've obliterated our cities, decimated our Shadow Guard. We are trying to evacuate the remaining population, but I am uncertain whether we can hold long enough to get them safely away. We will give you the time you need, Matriarch. My Templar are inbound. My Dark Templar were tracking your invasion on Ayr when we were cut off. Then the warp gate opened. What happened, Artanis? Amon used the Kala to seize control of the Templar. I could feel his rage tearing through me, and I was powerless against it. Zeratul found me. It was there that he... He... Yes? He tried to free me. And he succeeded at the cost of his own life. He fell by my hand. It was Amon's deed, not yours. Zeratul came to me with a warning, but I did not act. Because of this, he is now gone, and the stars burn dimmer for his loss. Amon's deed or not, I carry a burden, Matriarch. One that cannot be easily lifted. All this time... This wretched little world was within striking distance of our fleets. Much has changed since your era, Preserver. First you consort with those Herons, and now the Fallen Ones? It is heresy. You must know this. The Dark Templar are now our allies. There was a time when the Protoss were broken. Throughout the Aeon of Strife, we tore at each other with wanton abandon. Only one path was ever found to end the madness and unify our people. The Kala. The Dark Ones rejected its light. They denied their own race. How can you fight for them? For one so sworn to preserve our history, Rohana, how can you be so blind to its turn? I... I see I have offended you, Hierarch. My apologies. Adapting to this period is... Difficult. You Indeed. I never imagined oh, the Firstborn would ever step foot upon it. It was here that we first stood against the Swarm as one. I wish I could have stood by you and shared in such glory. As do I. This is glitchy. That's glitchy. I've been trying to isolate the major population centers in need of evacuation. The Zerg signatures far outnumber those of the Protoss, but most of the survivors seem to have gathered within Talametros. There must be Nerezine Phasemiths you know among them. Those who stayed behind. I am not seeing any Protoss life signs from within the engineering base, Hierarch. Then they have met their fate. Or perhaps they fought their way to safety. The Dark Templar do not follow our caste system. 
Some of their face smiths are trained warriors, skilled as any of ours. That does give them an advantage I had not realized. But then, our people are very different. Of course, Hierarch. Station is overtaking Telemetros. Our evacuation is already in great peril. Your aid cannot come soon enough, Hierarch. Please, not a lag game. First teams with Amon Zerg broods. We hold only the southwest quadrant of Ptolemetros, and even that is in peril. We must evacuate our people, but the launch bays have been defiled with infestation. Only ground forces can clear them. Once the bays are free, the planetary warp conduit will allow our ships to escape safely. The launch bays will be cleared. Your people will survive, Matriarch. 
This I swear. You will need the aid of my Dark Templar in this battle. They can strike from the shadows without fear of reprisal. Come on! Thank you. I really need to get a new mouse. Artanis, I'm detecting a rift opening near your position. Avoid Thrasher. By the gods, it's sieging the warp conduit. Warriors, we must slay it before it destroys the conduit. Strike as one, Templar. for naught if the launch bays remain infested. I will comply. I am but a phantom. hold the Solarite reserves that power Ptolemetros. You may claim them with our blessing, Hierarch. Indeed. Completing bonus objectives will allow me to improve the Spear of Vadun's power. There are two vaults left in the city. Shore up our defenses. The Zerg are moving to attack our Nexus Point. If possible. We should warp in more photon cannons. They will help our Nexus Point defend against enemy incursions. This one is kind of... You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. A second thrasher. The conduit is under assault. 
careful. The spore crawlers and overseers ahead can detect our Dark Templar's movements. Slay them first. has been eliminated. This would be an opportune moment to clear the launch bays. The Narazim. I am intrigued. Matriarch Vorazun, the first launch bay has been cleared. Continue evacuating. is under attack. Secured a second launch bay. Well done. Half of the bays are launching evacuation ships. Clever. I am but a phantom. By the void.
ask of us. the infestation. Only one launch bay remains disabled. Solarite reserve now. The solar core should be augmented by the time our forces return, Hyrox. So we can Jump the gun. The launch bays have been reclaimed. Matriarch, you may complete the evacuation. You have saved my people, Artanis, and they will never forget it.
Huh, I have to look back at that, uh, what that other achievement was. Despite this tragedy, I am pleased to see you once more, Hierarch. I had hoped that our next interaction would be your announcement of Ayer's reclamation. As did I. Instead, the Templar have fallen. Then the threat is greater than I realized. We cannot let the same fate befall Shakuras. It is too late for that. Amon Zerg poured through the warp gate as a tide of flesh and blade. They have already overrun Telemetros and are nearing the shrines of Lizul. This world is lost. With such an infestation, Shakuras must be destroyed. Destroy Shakuras? I will not permit this. Permit? Shakuras was my people's home long before we offered your sanctuary upon it. I will not let this world be a den for Amon's forces. Worlds may fall to ash. What matters is that we endure. To lose Shakuras and Aya. We are a vagabond people, Artanis. Our true home has always been Ayer. Let us reclaim it together. It is fitting that the daughter of Raja Gaul decides the fate of the world she helped forge. Let us make preparations at once. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the Solar Core now. Of all the Templar, you never wavered in the belief that our two peoples could live in unity. It is something I admired in you. It is ironic to hear you say this. All this time, I believed you were reluctant to accept the unity I sought. You and I had many a disagreement in the Twilight Council. For day by day, I saw my people losing what they were. I saw our precious old ways erode. You wished to preserve them. I am Nerezim. Dark Templar, I hold great pride in my people. But you are also Protoss. That is the greater affiliation. That is not what the Conclave believed when we were exiled long ago. Your kind had ire. Our culture is all we ever had. You have become a mighty warrior since last we fought together, Artanas. Even these Dark Templar revere you as if you were a Dune himself. If only Pasadar could have lived to see what you've become. I often think about him. Of how different these events would have been if he were still in command. You are a Hierarch now. Your doubts do not honor you or him. Yet, they persist. Tassadar's shadow looms large over my every action. You must move from it, old friend. For none of us can truly grow while still in the shadow of his mentor. What have you discovered about the Keystone, Faye Smith? Only that my skills may be inadequate to assess it. Explain. Imagine the Terrans obtained one of our fabrication matrices. Could their scientists ever understand its engineering? The task set before me is of a similar scale. The Cell Naga were beings beyond our understanding. Keep working, Karax. I have faith in you. Alright. Cloaked warriors are now available for deployment. Katoom. Vengeance for Ayer. Katoom. Vengeance for Ayer.
I think we'll go with those. The evacuation ships have reported in. All are present and are being escorted by the Spear of a Dune. This was not an easy decision, but I would rather see Shakuras destroyed than overwhelmed by Amon Zerg. We have much to plan, Hierarch. Tell me, Vorazun, how will we bring destruction to your world? The Zelnaga Temple's phase prism can be overloaded, forcing a spike of energy into the planet's core. Enough of a charge, and the planet will shatter. Amon will not possess my world. I have been thinking about this choice. Are you reconsidering? No. My time here has reminded me of the courage of your people. That we must fight. If we are to suffer, then so too will Amon. We will lure as many of Amon's hybrid and Zerg through the gateway as we can. Only once enough are through to wound him, will we overload the temple and flee. You mean to bleed him? Bold, but we can't risk the forces it would require to do such a thing. Leave that to me, Matriarch. I have learned much from the Dark Templar. Basically, in this situation, just build, build, and build. have secured the Zelnaga Temple Grounds. Artemis, how go your preparations? I am configuring the temple now, but without the Uraj and the Kallus, it will take time. Time is not all it will take. The temple's energies are regulated by three Zenith Stones. Only once they are destroyed can the temple be overloaded. Until then, we must defend it from the Zerg and their hybrid masters. The Nerazim have long used Kaderan monoliths to protect our lands. I see your face smith has become familiar with them. Indeed, Matriarch. The monoliths are quite deadly and fire a considerable distance. They should prove instrumental in our defense. The moment has come. Let us begin. Alright, here we go. Zenith stones are destroyed, the better off we shall be. The Zerg will overwhelm the temple grounds shortly. Agreed. Although, should it become necessary, my Dark Templar can sneak through the enemy and destroy the stones. There is no solace in exile. We obey. Exercise caution when attacking a zenith stone. The energies within may become volatile as it is damaged. The Zerg gather for an attack to the southwest. Ignite your blades, warriors. Resources nearby. We can construct a second nexus near them to accelerate our harvesting. You require my 
skill. You have not enough minerals. I am here in the shadows. We are one in the shadows. Another brood of Zerg is preparing to attack from a hive to the northwest. Artanis, our observers are reporting a vast number of Zerg have poured onto Shakuris. And yet, not a single hybrid. Amon is testing our resolve. Southeastern access way. are still vulnerable. We should construct more photon cannons in Kaderan Monoliths before they are overrun. Let our enemy fall. Base is under attack. 
Stones have been destroyed. Once your task is complete, the temple can be overloaded. Understood. And the temple alignment is proceeding well. Now, we wait for the Zerg. Our readouts indicate there are nearly half a billion Zerg on Shakuris. All of them moving for this temple. Let them come. The Templar will endure. such abomination. Warriors, focus all cannons on the hybrid. We must defend the temple.
borne witness to so many Zerg. Was this the threat my mother once faced? No, Matriarch. This threat is a far greater one, and it will take all we have to resist it. Approaches, warriors. The temple is realigning. It will be ready soon. Hierarch, I have discovered a solarite cache beneath the Zelnaga temple. If we can hold longer, I should be able to retrieve it. Begin the retrieval process, Karax. We will hold the temple as long as we can. Yeah, I'm nearly at 30 frames right now. with energy. It is ready. Solarite retrieval is still in progress. If we can hold on just a while longer...
successfully warped aboard the Spear of a Dune. Yeah, let's keep holding off we can as long as we can. Hold off for another for another two hundred billion, two hundred million. Come on, almost there, almost there, almost there. All right. That's enough. of our kind suffer, separated from the glory of the Kala. None of us 
after generation. Choose the mantle of Dark Templar. intense. Shakuris is gone. It has become one with the Eternal Night. But the traditions we forged there will remain with us forever. Is that still possible, Matriarch? More so than you may realize. What do you know of the Shadow Walk, Artanis? Little. Your people closely guard their customs. It is our most sacred rite of passage. The Initiate stands alone. Members of her tribe strike against her from the shadows. If she endures, she becomes a Shadow Hunter, a true Dark Templar. Why do you speak of this? You stood alone, as Dark Templar, against countless enemies, risking your life for the many. You have walked as we have. You have walked the Shadow Path already, Artanis. You no longer have the Kala. You are Dark Templar. The Nerezim fought valiantly beside us, even unto the destruction of their world. Why? Their homeworld has always been ire. They have never forgotten it, or the sacrifice that delivered them to safety. You speak of Adun. So saith Judicator Zentheon. Adun failed to eradicate the rogue tribes, those who call themselves the Dark Templar. We witnessed the burst of the Twilight Star. In that treasonous instant, Adun ushered the heretics and himself to fate, purifying ire of their taint, but allowing them life. Treason? Adun chose mercy rather than committing genocide. This was a noble act, Preserver. Was it? I see history through the eyes of those who lived it, Artanis. Perhaps this is why you are blind to all that is before you. History's truths are only ever understood looking through the backwards lens, seeing its consequences take root. As a preserver, I have always experienced history as a living, breathing now, as those who experienced it in the moment did. Perhaps I should consider the way you view it. Well, I guess that is that. That's gonna do it for this video, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed it. And let, let, let me just see. Uh, what was the achievement? Say, God. Uh, see, uh, unlock all global swarming. Complete the... Oh, okay. So by doing all that, I got all the Shakur missions. Okay. Anyways, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. As always, my name's Cody Campbell. And I'll see you next time.